So uh, I guess one of the things we want to talk about today was uh, the new Move controller implementation, uh, which I brought a prop with me here. Um, so one of the things that we wanted to do this year um, when implementing the Move controller was there was two main things. Obviously, we wanted to take advantage of the Move controller and create a way to play the game that is uh, basically as realistic as possible, where you actually get the chance to swing the bat, you actually get a chance to, you know, actually pitch with, with the controller. Um, so we're really excited about putting all that together. But one of the things we also want to do is uh, not leave out uh, the range of people who do not want to go through all that stuff. You know, so um, when we created each uh, segment of the move controls, which is batting, pitching, fielding, and uh, base running, uh, we took into account that not everybody wants to stand up and, you know, and throw, you know, 120 pitches <laughs> for a game. You know, they want to sit there and just kind of relax and do it. So we created a system where everyone can have um, uh, success um, but still promote people actually playing the game the way we want them to play it and actually experience like you're actually pitching and actually swinging the bat. So with the batting, um, so first of all, I'll talk about the batting. The, with the batting, what we did was we created a system where you have a full um, IK, which means you have full control uh, pre-pitch where you can move the bat around, take practice swings, move it up, move it down, do all these things um, to give you a real feel of connection. And then um, when you get into the swing, we, we uh, created a system where the swing is broken down into, uh, well, there's different types of swings. There's your contact swing, then there's your regular swing and your power swing. And what we did was we tried to make it as natural as possible where if you're doing a contact swing in real life, it's not that you're swinging slower. It's that you're not, take, you're not just winding up and, and then swinging into it. It's you're just taking a chop at it. So the game recognizes that if you do that, take a chop at it as opposed to winding up, it's going to give you a contact swing better chance of making contact, not as much power. But it recognizes that if you pull back, it's going to say, okay, we're not doing a contact swing now. Now we're going to get into a power swing. And when it does that, then it recognizes how fast you come forward. Sorry, I'm going to hit you. Um, it it uh, recognizes how fast you come forward to, um, to set your power. Now, it's uh, unlike games in the past where what we've had is we've had three types of swings, a contact swing, a regular swing, and a power swing. The, once you um, are not using a contact swing, it is not one or two. It is zero to 100. So if you swing at what we consider 88, it's going to give you that much power. Or if you swing, you know, 43, whatever, you know, whatever the number is, it's, uh, it can go zero to 100, basically. So you have all different types of swings based on how you swing. Um, with the pitching, um, what we did was we created, created a system where uh, you can pitch just by uh, – it, it uses the same timing meter that we, we've used in the past – where you consider, consider the uh, trigger, the ball, where you're going to start the, when you start your windup, you're going to pull back and you're going to release as a timing mechanism with the release point of the guy's pitch. Okay. What we do is we recognize how far you pull back. Okay. To try to support people, um, generating more power, you know, and, and actually having people actually pitch as opposed, you could do it like this if you want to, but you're not going to get as much power as if it recognizes from the camera, how far you pull back. So how far you pull back, and then, again, how fast you come forward will um, fill up the, the amount of power. So the difference between this and doing a full thing, again, I'm going to hit you, um, is probably like a, a 94 to a 99 mile an hour fastball. So you, know, so you can still play the game like this, 94, and we also have different modes called easy pitch, where if you want that 99 mile an hour fastball, but you don't want to rip your shoulder up to do it, um, you can. It just, it's just a different mode that you'll have. Now with the with the uh, I'm ranting here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, with the uh, base running, what we decided to do was to take it from the um, the perspective of a base coach. Okay, so if you have a guy, if you hit a gapper, if you hit a gapper and you want to send him from first uh, all the way to second base, you're going to send him in a circular motion. You're going to say go 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 go. Okay, if you want him to stop at the next base, like let's say I say go to second base, he rounds first, then I say stop at the next base. Okay, so you just put your hand up like this. Actually, technically, you're just holding the controller sideways, but naturally feeling it's just this. Now, if you want him to stop in place, like you want, to, like on a, uh, a fly ball where you don't want to tag up, but you just want to go halfway, you do the same thing, but you hold the trigger, and he'll stop immediately in his, in his, in his uh, path. And, um, so, uh, and then going back. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about going back. So this is going forward. This is advancing a runner. Sending him back is go back and then stop. So those are all the actions that you need. It's very natural. It feels, you know, it feels like um, you're just making an action that you would do. You know, it's like go, 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 or stop. 
you know, so it feels good. Um, and then the last thing is the fielding. This is my favorite thing because we added something different. Uh, because of the way the move controller works, you can't really steer guys around with the move controller. So uh, the AI is under control of the movement on the field. But what you're responsible now for is catching the ball. Okay, so as the ball gets close to you, 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 it's a timing mechanism where you have to, as the ball gets into you, you have to grab with the trigger and hold, acting like that's the ball. Okay, so the ball comes in, let's say your shortstop, boom, you catch it. And then our throwing mechanism is just like it is with the analog controls where we go north, south, east, west. So first base, second base, third base, home. So if I'm the shortstop, I catch it, I throw it first, and I release the ball. Again, the trigger acting like the ball where you catch it and then you release it. So that's those are the four. Uh, th that's how we've implemented the move controller stuff this year. I'll tell you right now, I've been messing with it more than anybody here. It's kind of been my design, and uh, I don't want to play the game any other way anymore. I love it. I love playing it like this. To be honest with you, no. Yeah. Well, he had. Like, I'm, I'm, give me that PS2. <laughs> that's fine. Man. Move hey, smart, but you know, and that's the way. Move that's smart. the way it works, though. You know, I mean, every we have how many different ways to play the game now? Probably like fifteen or twenty. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's yeah, so many different about... ways. So it's going to be something for everybody. So, you know.